Hey, what's going on everybody? We're back with today's question. This one says, Vinny, I'm looking for advice. What do you do when you have a client with more than one problem, but it may relate to the same thing? I have a client with three different issues. We took some time to narrow it down, but in the end, I'm not sure what to do. How would you approach this situation? Yeah. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. Uh, it sounds like your instincts are, are picking up on something pretty fascinating here. I do think there is a stickiness to people's problems. Uh, this showed up a lot for me because uh, when I was doing stop smoking sessions, a lot of times I would come in with the assumption that that was the problem. You'd have a brief conversation with a client and you'd find out a bunch of other information, things things that were what of much more importance to them. Here, here's another way to think about it. Here's an, a contextual example. I think this will help. I had this one lady, she saved up for three months, booked a session with me, and I, I performed protocols at a high level. The next day I talked to that lady, and she said, Ben, I'm still having problems. I thought, this is wild. We, did, we went through all this stuff perfectly. So I hopped on a, a quick chat with her, and as we started exploring what she was still dealing with, it was more a matter of, hey, my daughter really upset me. She posted something kind of nasty on, on social media. We talked about that. We basically talked about everything but smoking. And what's fascinating, a couple of years later, I saw she's running a marathon, raising money for children's hospital. She hasn't smoked. She wrote just the most beautiful thing, very specific language she used in a testimonial. She said something like, uh, I'm just glad I'm finally over it, right? So this is where I started to get a, a sense, a clue that the, one of the problems that we run into a lot of times with the, in, as hypnotherapists is we might assume that that presenting problem is the real problem. And if the presenting problem is not the real problem, how are you going to prepare right, for a session? There's, another, there's a whole bunch of questions we can ask based off the thing you're bringing up. Um, how could you really prepare for it? Right? She's got three problems. She doesn't know what one's the most important one or the real one. The best a client can give you is some conscious conclusion they've drawn about the nature of their problem. So that's why uh, what I teach hypnotherapists to do is actually go through this discovery and exploration phase where they kind of work with the client to understand what's really going on. And as they understand what's really going on, just really cool naturally emergent phenomena happens, insights, spontaneous learning, um, it's incredible. We, I think in my last training, we had someone experiencing nicotine cravings and then had some spontaneous memory of their father that passed away, right? And it was just a really profound moment for that person. And they felt good afterward, right? So this is a, sort of what I'm talking about, right? The, the presenting problem isn't the real problem. So I think it's cool you're, you're picking up on that. Um, how I proceed is I, I kind of have a bit of a unique method, right? We we explore and discover that. And as we explore and discover that, what's really going on underneath the surface with that with that client, their orientation to the problem has to shift. The orientation to themselves starts to shift, right? They start to create a breakthrough. So it's almost like we're using discovering the problem as the methodology, as the hypnotherapy, as the technique, the protocol, all that stuff, right? So basically we're working in a 100% organic way with that client and we're just using the context there. We're just utilizing whatever occurs. So I, I, I'm really pumped that you realized that. That's pretty great. Um, I'm curious how else that realization will show up for you as you continue to see more and more clients. That's very insightful. Thanks for, thanks for asking this question. If you have a follow-up, please shoot it over to me. I got a ton of videos up on YouTube sort of about that type of thing that you might find helpful too. So that's a resource for you as well. Uh, take care.